Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, now in this video, and it's, it's going to keep touching on what we've already tapped on in the previous video, okay? When we're talking about, you know, parents that say they give you everything, what have you got to be upset about? Okay, now as a society, we seem to think that everything are the material things, you know, that you have food on the table, that you have a roof over your head, that you have everything you need for school, everything you need in terms of stuff, okay? But, you know, is that what we need? When a child falls down, a five-year-old, six-year-old child falls down and they scrape their knee and they come running to you crying that it hurts, do you just give them 10 bucks and say, here, go buy a toy, go entertain yourself in the corner? That'll make you feel better? Is that going to fix it? Or do you need to tend to it? You know, blow it a little bit, clean it up for them, give it a kiss. Put a bandage over it. Make them feel that you care that it hurts. Think about it. Because that's what we do with our kids. Here, have another toy. Here, have another iPad. Have another computer. Have another TV. Everyone's got their own separate TVs in the house. Their own separate laptops. Everyone's doing their own thing and no one's really connecting to the other people in the, in the house. No one's connecting, which is the most important thing. Spending time with your children. Getting to know them getting to know, you know, being so close that you know exactly when they're off, when something's not right. You'll know exactly. We get so busy, so caught up in our own lives sometimes that we lose track of them, where they're at, how they're feeling, what they need inside as a human being, not outside, inside. Are we nurturing that? You know, that little soul, as I think of it. There's a little soul in there, there's a little spirit, and it's looking up to us. It's looking at us for guidance. What do I do? Where do I go? And we point it in this direction, and we point it in that direction, and none of it has anything to do with what this little soul needs. This little soul needs love. It needs kindness, it needs compassion, it needs all of those wonderful things that we're born with. All those gifts that we've talked about in previous videos. That's what that little soul yearns for. It yearns to experience, to know what that feels like. What does it feel like to have a hug? What does it feel like to be loved? What does it feel like to be listened to? Like you matter, like someone cares that you're there. What does it feel like that's all we're here for what does it feel like how does that make me feel that's what the soul is looking for to experience to discover all these wonderful feelings how things feel so that it may know oh that's what that is that's what love feels like that's what anger feels like And yet we address all the outside things like they're more important. They're worth more than that little soul that's looking to you for guidance, for what's important. So I want you to really think about that today. Have you? You know, for many of us, we haven't grown up with that. Like I've said in previous videos, we're taught not to feel certain things or that certain feelings are bad. We shouldn't go there. We shouldn't, you know, we should avoid, you know, avoid having that feeling or expressing that feeling. We should stay away from it, even though all the time inside, it feels like it's really festering, you know, that it really wants to come out. And it gets to a point later where you go into a depression because you try to avoid it so long, for so long. These feelings that are trying to tell you something, you avoid them for so long. 
that it makes it hard for you to relate to it later. What is it that you're trying to tell me? I don't know because I've been ignoring you for so long. I haven't wanted to look at you. I've been told that you're bad, that I shouldn't go there. And all the while this feeling's sitting there and you don't know why it's there. How did it get there? What's it trying to tell you? All right, my darlings. So think about that today. What feelings keep coming up for you and you feel you've been taught that's wrong. You shouldn't have that feeling. You should avoid that feeling. But it keeps coming up for you. You know, through most of my adult life, it was anger and frustration. I kept getting this anger and this frustration popping up. And it wasn't until one day I thought, well, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to feel frustrated anymore. I want to know why I feel that way. Why does this come, keep coming up for me? Why does it keep showing up for me in my life? Yeah, throughout the day you have happy moments. It's not the whole day that's angry. But why is it there? There's a reason it's there. All right? So think about it. Because it's your life. It's your life. And if you don't stop to think about it, who else will do that for you? There's no one else living up here. No one else can do that for you. Only you can do it for yourself. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.